By Science Energy Synergy, the great tasting, super premium energy drink. 24-year-old American Kendall Grove against the 27-year-old French-Canadian Patrick Cote. There is the definitive advantage in the height. Seven inches taller and a six-inch reach advantage will be enjoyed by the Spider to officially get UFC 74 respect underway. We turn it over to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas for UFC 74. And now it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer and Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins with four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 184 and 1 half pounds, fighting out of Quebec City, Quebec, Canada, Patrick the Predator Cote! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins with three losses. Standing six feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds, fighting out of Maui, Hawaii, Kendall the Spider Grove! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee. And the beautiful Ali Sonoma, Ariani, here tonight. Not a ticket to be had for UFC 74 respect. Kendall Grobe, winner of the Ultimate Fighter 3, fight? against Patrick the Predator Let's Cote. And UFC 74 is underway. All coming in quickly is Cote in the yellow trunks. Kendall Grobe's a real hard guy to hit. Real tall, great reach. Keeps his hands up high. Covers up right there. And Cote will try to duck underneath. The, the amazing thing, and I didn't think of this until right now, which I don't know why, but Kendall Grove is two inches shorter don't than Tim the, the Maniac Sylvia. And he's a middleweight fighter. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. He's uh, about as tall as you can get for that weight class and still keep good musculature. Training and extreme couture now here in Las Vegas. Also working his jiu-jitsu with Mark Lehman at Cobra Kai Jiu-Jitsu. Getting some of the greatest training in the world, as is Cote. Working with Fabio Holanda and Mark Delagrati. Good knee to the body inside there by Kendall. Stops. Cote is going to try to take right, away the size, the if you will, of Kendall Grove. Yeah, Cote would like nothing more than to be able to get some space and open up the punches. I mean, he's pressing them up against the cage. I'm, I'm not sure if he's trying to take him down. If he does, uh, Kendall's very dangerous off his back. Especially, as you said, with that freakish 6'6 figure that allows him to do things because He's obviously smart. his legs and arms are so long that other men in the middleweight division can't. Yeah, he can sink some chokes in from some crazy angles, especially the darts. That's, that's probably his specialty. Improving work ethic. He understands what it's all about right now. And this is truly a testing phase and a huge spotlight on Kendall Grove tonight against Patrick Cote. Herb Dean pushes him apart. And they will exchange again. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Good leg kick by Cote. Another check by Kendall. Cote is going to try to move in and out. In the exchanges, that's when Kendall has to be careful. Oh, good body kick by Kendall. Patrick smiles at him. Cote has had some hard luck in the octagon, but he's never lost outside the UFC. He's 10-0 outside the UFC. He's got two victories, including his recent unanimous decision win over Scott Smith at UFC 67 right here at the Mandalay Bay. Good knee inside by Grove. Yeah, for a tall guy with long legs, Kendall gets those inside knees in, in, in real tight quarters. Patrick presses him up against the cage now. One thing we know about Cote, he will always be aggressive. And he believes he has the technically superior stand-up game. Could be a big night for the French-Canadian teammates, Cote in St. Pierre. 
and gone in different training directions to a certain degree with St. Pierre now working a lot with Greg Jackson. More on that as we continue our broadcast. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan sold out here at the Mandalay Bay Event Center. And Grove is not yet down. Nice job done by Kendall Grove. So tall, so it's so hard to take that guy down. Oh, good use of Kendall. Well, Tate looks in good condition, as you said. Cardio has become ultra important to Kendall Grove. Good right hand by Cote, good right hand by Kendall. Kendall 4 0 in the UFC. Oh, good oh, body kick body. by Kendall. Going to the body, not once but twice, is Grove. Cote really trying to move that head. Kind of telegraphed that takedown a little bit. And Cote able to avoid. Still can't get him down. Good knee. Oh, right hand. Big right hand. hand. He's hurt. Kendall Grove is in big trouble. Cote looking to finish. And he's inside control and he mounts him. Full mount. This is bad for Kendall. Kendall. Cote. Kendall's in excellent shape and he recovers quickly, but this is a bad spot for him. Cote sitting in the choke. Patrick Cote trying to finish. <laughs> Kendall Grove avoids. Choke. Great job done by Kendall Grove. students about all the time. Anytime you're in a clinch or you're, you're in a war there, as you release, throw something. And he did in front of Keanu Reeves and the many in attendance tonight. And Patrick Cote earned by far the biggest victory of his mixed martial arts career. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Patrick the Predator Cote! Big right hand, huge victory for the French Canadian. Here is Joe. I am here with a very happy Patrick Cote. Patrick, that is a huge victory for you. You've got to be very happy about that. I'm very happy. You know, I used to, I used to deal with personal problems last week, but I was staying focused on my game plan, and now I'm so happy I was prepared for this fight. I'm happy I win, win with a big knockout. That's what I do, I knock out people. You've always been known for your big power, and let's take a look at the Mickey's replay and talk us through the knockout here. You know, I wanted to go for a elbow first, but he got me with a big, that's funny because that's exactly what I did against Tito, just overhand. I think team punishment, uh, I have the number of this team. No. Yeah. And after that, I took the mount. And I do my job, you know. I was close to have the, the choke, but it's, it's tough, you know, it's tough. Well, this is a tremendous victory for you. I just want to say thank you to BTT Canada, my camp, Sito Tom, Mark De La Grole, Fabio Landa, all my training partner, all the Canadian fans here. And my fiance, I love you, baby. Congratulations, Patrick Cote, ladies and gentlemen. 
Patrick Cote impresses us 